Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create Apex connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create views. So click on create, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Click on create, okay. Click on okay. Now go to steel and select this column and place it here. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now go to window and select this view list and let's take elevation on grid 1. You can see now this column on grid 1. So we need to select this elevation on grid 1 and click on this arrow and close this window. Now go to steel and select this beam and pick the first position at here and pick the second position at here. Similarly, we are going to take one more beam. So pick the first position and pick the second position. Right click on mouse interrupt and click on this window and select this 3D view. Okay. Now we are going to create the connection between these two beams with this column. So go, click on this application and components. In search bar type number 14. You will get this column to two beams connection number 14. Select this connection and select the main part as a column and pick the secondary parts as a two beams. Then press the mouse middle button to create the connection. And close this window. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse zero w. Okay. By default we have the connection like this. But we need to change this connection as per our requirement. So right click on mouse interrupt and double click on this connection. Uh, now click on this window and select this view list and select this one and close this window okay you will get like this we require two plates and uh, this column should be cut along with this rafter so we need to select this option click on here and select this two plates then click on modify you can see now currently we have only one plate uh, to create the another plate you need to enter here the thickness of this plate for example we are going to take 9 by 16 and the third plate also 9 by 16 then click on modify you can see now we have the two plates like this with the thickness 9 by 16 okay you can see this plate indicates here number 3 and this plate indicates number 4 in this drawing Okay, now coming to these two plates, the this plate number is 1 and this plate number is 2. Okay, for example, we are going to take the plate number 1 and 2, the thickness of 5 by 16. And let's take here also 5 by 16. Then click on modify. You can see, now the plate thickness should be 5 by 16. You can check the thickness of these plates. Click on this edit and select this measure. And select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point. First point and second point and place it here. You can see now we have the thickness of the plate 5 by 16. Similarly, you can check the thickness of this connection plate also. Okay, so nine. It should be 9 by 16 according to here. So click on edit and select this measure and select this is the inclined dimension so we need to select this distance and we need to pick the first point here and pick the second point if you're not getting the points at this location so we need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points and pick the second point at here and place it here you can see now thickness of this plate is 9 by 16 and Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse data view and select this connection. Now you can see now, now these pla two plates are intersect each other but by practical it's not possible so we need to give the clearance at this location between the two plates. So you can see now from the ridge to this gap we need to enter here 1 by 16 and from ridge to in this plate side when it enter here 1 by 16 then click on modify you can see now we have the gap at this location at here similarly we need to give, give the 
clearance at this plate these two plates are intersect each other you can see top plate and this bottom plate so from beam edge to and first plate top plate distance currently we have zero at this location so just give here 1 by 16 and from this plate to edge of the beam we need to give 1 by 16 then click on modify you can see now we have the clearance between the these four plates like this okay now coming to this edge uh, we can control the uh, total plate length from these options for example you can see now currently we have the projection at this location according to here it should be 1 by 14 projection outside for example we are going to take here negative minus 1 by 8 and other side also let's take minus 1 by 8 then click on modify you can see now this projection should be 1 by 8 you can measure this distance click on here and select this distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here you can see 1 by 8 projection on this side and similarly in this side also you can see 1 by 8 similarly you can also control the length of this connection plate at this location currently we have the zero from plate beam edge to plate at the top for example we are going to give the some projection let's take here minus 1 by 8 and here also let's take minus 1 by 8 then click on modify you can see now we have the projection at this location for welding purpose and uh, now we're going to check the dimension let's take vertical and pick the first point and second point and place it here it should be 1 by 8 like this okay now click on modify now go to the 3d view click on window and select this 3d view right click on mouse interrupt you can see like this now coming coming to these bolts click on these bolts one two one and two you can see this uh, number one plate and this is a number two plates the connection between this one and two plates you, you need to go to this bolt one two tab click on here and uh, let's take this bolt size 3 by 4 and the tolerance 1 by 16 now coming to bottom here let's take at the middle exactly middle of these bolts remove this edge distance and let's take the number of bolts 4 and uh, and the spacing between the bolts are 3 inch and the width wise we are going to take the edge distance 2 inch and the number of bolts 2 and the spacing we are going to take 3.5 inch 3 and half inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now these bolts are placed exactly at the middle of these plates according to this option and the spacing number of bolts are 4 use the shortcut control 2 uh, for shaded view like this and select this connection you can see now we have the 4 number of co columns 1 2 3 4 and the spacing between the two columns between the two bolts are three inches and these bolts are exactly at the middle of this uh, plate and length uh, length of this plate we have already controlled at this location uh, from the beam to first distance here and uh, connection plate edge to edge of the beam at this location so no need to enter here the edge distances just uh, give the number of bolts and the spacing now coming to this width and we have the width edge distance is 2 inches and the number of 2 inches is the distance between the bolt to edge of this plate and uh, this 2 indicates the number of columns in the width wise and the spacing is the 3 3.5 inch between the two bolts okay now coming to coming to these bolts click on this bolt 3 now we need to enter here the bolt size here let's take 3 by 4 inch and the tolerance is 1 by 16 now click on here let's take the distance from edge of this plate to first bolt distance uh, click on here window and select this elevation and you can see from edge of this plate to first bolt distance we need to enter here 2 inch and the number of columns uh, we're going to take 2 and the spacing 
4 inch. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now first bolt edge to first bolt distance should be 2 inch. You can measure the distance also. Let's take distance and pick the first point and the second point at here. And you can see the spacing is a 2 inch according to this option. And now the bolt distance between the two bolts should be 4 inch like this. We have already controlled this length of this plate, so no need to enter here the edge distance. And now coming to this width, click on here and select this 3D view. Edge distance, 2 inch. From bolt to edge of this plate, distance should be 2 inches. And the number of bolts we are going to take 2. And the spacing between the two bolts, let's take here 3, three and a half inch. Then click on modify. You can see. Now the spacing between the two bolts should be three and a half inch and the edge distance should be two inch. Similarly, we need to enter on other side of also for this plate. So click on this bolt number four and click on here and select the three by four inch and tolerance one by 16. And click on modify edge of this plate to first bolt distance. We're going to take here two inch and number of bolts two and spacing. 4 inch and coming to the width wise let's take the edge distance 2 inches and number of uh, columns in the bolts is the 2 and the spacing is 3.5 inch then click on modify and click on modify you can see the result at this location like this okay now click on modify apply okay right comma interrupt click on space right comma zero just like this okay that's it about how to create apex connection in tech law structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech law structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech law structure related videos i hope these videos may be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you